Hello again, everyone. Um, I have found a perfect worm bin for you teachers. It is a uh, titarium, I think is how you pronounce it, uh, bin that uh, normally you would house a, a lizard or what have you, but it's got a little bit of a smoky uh, glass to it. I think you can get these where they're completely opaque, but, uh, not real sure. But, um, I have been having a ball with this. So, I just want to show you teachers how easy it is to make a worm bin for your classes. So, we're going to start this one with some, this is just egg crates that, uh, um, we took and, and, um, pulled apart. We got some paper napkins here. So if you, you got any paper towels, you know, when the kids are washing their hands at school, you can just rip them up, put them in there. We've got some shredded cardboard. Now this is mixed with some cocoa core and some um, peat moss. But you, you don't have to have that. You could use just the shredded cardboard. You don't have to have the peat moss or the um, uh, coconut core. You can do it with just peat moss. I mean, just uh, shredded paper and cardboard. You don't even have to shred up uh, the paper. You can just, uh, sh you know, shred it with your hands, pull it apart. Um but if you have a shredder and you want to run it through the shredder, you can do that as well. And we're only going to make this about a quarter of the way, not even a quarter of the way filled. Um, once you get your, your lovely material in there, um, you can see about how full that is. It's not real full at all. Now, this was already pre-moistened. Um, that I'm using. So normally you, you could pre-moisten it before you put it in there. And you just want it where when you squeeze it, you don't have but maybe one drop of water coming out of it, um, if that. The next thing we're going to do is we would take uh, some uh, dry either paper or cardboard. And um, I'll show you how we would do that. So you would just take, rip you up some strips like this, because what we're going to do is we're going to put this down to put our uh, food scraps on so that if when those start breaking down, because food scraps are about 85 to 90 percent water, when they break down it causes a lot of moisture. So we want this paper to soak up that moisture um, so that our bed doesn't become anaerobic on us. So we're just gonna tear up some of this paper here. And it, I mean, it's just simply, simple, simple. So I'm gonna start this one corner over here, this corner right here, and now I'm gonna add some food scraps to that. And for this one, we are going to have about a pound of worms in there. So I only want to put enough food to feed about a pound of worms. Um, most people put way too much food. And then what happens is your, your bin becomes anaerobic. So we've got a banana, a couple of potato peels, a strawberry. Um, let's see what else I got over here I can put in there. I got another whole banana and another little piece of tomato. And they love bananas. So that's all I'm going to put in here. And that's what it looks like. Then we're going to put this paper right over the top of that. I've got my 
pound of red wigglers right here. And I'm going to drop them right over here in this other corner. Now, once I get my red wigglers in there, the light that I have in my kitchen right now is going to drive those down. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to you'll want to give them a little bit of worm chow. You're going to want to give them a little bit of oyster shell flour. Now, the oyster shell flour, what that's going to do is it's going to give them grit for their gizzards because they don't have any teeth. So that's going to do that. It's going to help them with their overall health. And then it's also going to give them calcium. And it's going to uh, help balance your pH if you have any uh, pH problems. Then we're going to put a teaspoon of um, microbial food. And that's going to feed the microbes. The microbes are what the worms actually eat. So you want to make sure that we're feeding them um, some food. And it just really helps to jump start your bin. And it only takes about a teaspoon of each of those. And I just give it to them each time I feed them. Um, you can't really overdo it with the microbial food or the oyster shell flour. But you want to make sure on the um, worm chow that you don't feed them any more of that until you have... Uh, they have eaten what you had gave them before. So just to make sure that you're not going to cause any kind of protein poisoning. So that is how I would start this worm bin. The lid that goes on these um, are like this. So they've got plenty of air. And then you have a little door right here if you want to reach in and and uh, you know refeed or you can take it off whichever you choose to do but this is a very inexpensive way to start a worm bin for your class the kids can watch what the worms do from the sides and um, you can get you know they just get a kick out of watching these worms go to town in that worm bin I love these I have about six or eight of these that I keep here in my my living room and when I'm stressed out I just go put my hands in them to relieve some of that stress that I might have um, and then each time that you feed them more food scraps you don't want to feed them again until all those food scraps are gone but when you do you want to make sure you put that that uh, dry bedding down so that uh, the bedding will soak up any moisture that uh, breaks down from those foods. That's also when you want to feed them more worm chow, a little bit more of your um, uh, uh, oyster shell flour, and a little bit more of your microbial food. And you will watch your worm bin just really thrive. So, like I said, this one is mainly for, I did this video for teachers, but of course anybody can do it. If you've got a grandchild or a young child that you would like to make a worm bin for this is a a very inexpensive bin but it is ideal because it does have the lid that you can get excellent um airflow and then it is somewhat see-through so the children can watch the worms so that's it for today and um we'll bring you another video again coming soon thank you